Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Carly. As you can tell by the title, as you could tell by the title, yes. As you could tell by the title, I'm doing a grocery haul. I have all of these items behind me and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the grocery store. This is like my weekly grocery haul. Um, this is actually a highly requested video on my channel so I decided to do it. I have one other like grocery haul but it's in a vlog. I could like put it up here for you guys so or up here I don't know where you know you know if you want to check it out you could check it out but yeah I just wanted to like do a quick little video showing you guys what I got from the grocery store since you know I'm back on my journey trying to get fit trying to get right trying to get healthy okay this is important I've actually been juicing a lot but I'm not doing like a juicing fast or anything like I just like to make juices because I just really like them so I have a lot of fruit I have a lot of vegetables and yeah I should probably stop talking and show you guys what I got before we even get into the video make sure you press that subscribe button down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed I would really really appreciate it and yeah let's get into the video <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Trade Coffee. Trade matches you to your perfect cup of coffee within minutes. All you have to do is go on their website and take a short seven question quiz answering how you like your coffee and boom, you will have your perfect batches. After that, you choose your delivery frequency and boom, it's delivered at your doorstep fresh. And when I mean fresh, I mean fresh. Trade makes sure to roast and ship every order within 24 hours of ordering. And on top of that, they use compostable packaging with every order. They care about the environment. It doesn't get any better than that. They also guarantee that you will love your first cup of coffee. And if you don't, they will ship you out a different bag for free. Speaking of free, Trade is offering all of my subscribers their first bag of coffee for free when they sign up just by taking the quiz and clicking the link in my description box. And on top of that, there's free shipping. So make sure you take advantage of this opportunity and get you some coffee. And yeah, let's get into the video, guys. All right, so we're going to start off with the fruit that I got. I have a pineapple. Pineapple is always needed. I love pineapple. And I also got a quarter of a watermelon. I stopped by whole watermelons because I never eat the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just get a quarter. And it was on sale for like 39 cents. Okay. Not only do I like to just chop up like the pineapple and watermelon and like eat them. I also like to add them into my juices. But I got two bags of oranges. Also. I got some apples. Some like local apples from the grocery store. I love getting them. These are Macintosh. They're usually good, crispy juicy okay so some apples i think that's all the fruit yeah i got pineapple watermelon oranges apples all the fruit and for my veggies i got this big bag of carrots these are organic carrots i like to use these in my juices as well and i also just like to have them for dinner like sometimes i'll make like steak and i'll make some sauteed carrots baked carrots carrot fries whatever so i got some english seedless cucumbers i love to make tomato cucumber salads with like a little bit of feta and some red onions now that i think about it i forgot tomatoes and feta every time i go to the grocery store i forget something every time even if i make a list it don't matter i always forget something like how did i forget the tomatoes <laughs> i think i have i might have like one tomato left over but I forgot my tomatoes, whatever. Cucumbers, love that. And I also use this for my juices as well. A lot of these things I use for my juices. I bought some celery sticks. I love to like just dip celery in ranch, like with a sandwich for lunch. It's one of my go-tos. And celery juice is also good. So you know I'll be adding celery to my juices. I got some lettuce. I've never tried this brand of lettuce before. I've seen it and it reminded me of the Little Farms lettuce. Is that everywhere? The Little Farms? You guys know what I'm talking about? And I love that lettuce so I was like, let me try this. So it looks like. Definitely going to be making some bomb salads with this. I've been making a burger salad and like... It's amazing, and I'm going to be making it in one of my upcoming What I Eat in the Days 
because like I'm like obsessed with this salad and I probably make it every week I'm not even lying <laughs> so I got these little potatoes they're so tiny they're like little like teeny tiny potatoes I love these for like dinner definitely with like salmon and little potatoes chicken grilled or roasted i do steak like it doesn't matter with like veggies and these little potatoes i love them i feel like a lot of people on weight loss journeys are scared of potatoes because of carbs but i personally have been eating potatoes like throughout my weight loss journey and it hasn't like really affected me I have still been able to lose weight like you could obviously have things in moderation I preach that a lot on my channel but you could have potatoes all right you don't gotta deprive yourself of potatoes next I got some boar's head low sodium turkey just for like sandwiches with some aged white cheddar from Sargento this is my fave um 80 calories for one slice and boar's head turkey is actually like 60 calories for I think it's like 56 grams something like that but like basically the serving size is like 60 calories um i know deli meat is not considered like the healthiest thing but sometimes i like to have like a little sandwich for lunch so i like to buy some low sodium turkey and like some type of cheese today i got aged white cheddar so for my protein i got these bubba grass-fed burgers uh this is the burgers that i use for my burger salad that i told you guys i'm gonna do in one of my what i eat in the days but i love these they're grass-fed and they are 240 calories per burger that's not bad at all for a burger and then i also have some just thin sliced chicken breast for dinner I'm not on keto, but I still like to watch out for my carbs and try to get like low carb items Like I still eat like full carb items like potatoes But like I still like to buy like stuff like this just for like when I'm craving like some waffles or something You know what I mean? Anyways, I decided to get the birch benders Keto waffles you just put them in the toaster I was very skeptical about it at first because I'm like mm, uh I don't know if it's gonna be good but it's actually really good and they're actually like really soft and fluffy so I actually highly recommend these at first I was very like mm, I don't know but they're actually good and they're 160 calories for two waffles or 480 calories for the whole box so do what you want to do this was some sugar-free syrup which is probably like 10 calories or like five calories perfect for breakfast now we about to get into the snacks that I got and snacks are my favorite things ever. I got these Laughing Cow and Go creamy white cheddar and pretzel sticks. They are fire. I have one here and the packaging like kind of just came off and I'm like how perfect you guys can see. Like you can see it has like the Laughing Cow cheese and then you get some pretzels and the whole like this whole container is 140 calories so it's really good for just like a little snack like a little pick-me-up throughout the day or if you want to eat it like as like a side or like a snack with your lunch I do that as well I either have it as a snack or like a side but I actually really like these and I don't know what made me decide to pick them up but I did and I was like and another little crackers and cheese type thing that I got is the Baby Bell cheese. And this one is white cheddar and crackers. So it's just cheese and crackers. If like you can see, like, the crackers and the little Baby Bell cheese is in there. This is one of the things that I like to have as a snack, especially because it's already pre-portioned for you. And they just, they just taste good. I'm, like, obsessed with this white cheddar cheese. I feel like I've just been obsessed with cheese, period, lately. I don't know what, like... <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but like lately, like I've just been wanting cheese. I can love cheese. I know cheese is not the best thing for you, but it's just so good. Like, mm. anyways, 110 calories. You get some cheese, you get some crackers, nice little snack, nice little pick me up, and it tastes good. So, I also got these. These are cheese crispers. I'm obsessed. Well, I've never had this uh, flavor. This flavor is. Four cheese and herb, and this is cheddar. I've had cheddar before. I love it. They're like addicting. Like this is something you gotta pre-portion out. Like I literally will like pre-portion them out into little baggies so that I don't overeat them because they're like addicting and they're like salty and they just taste really good. 
the cheddar one I could vouch for. This one I want to try since I love the cheddar one so much. The macros aren't too, too bad on these. They're 140 calories for 21 chips or 29 grams. They're 16 carbs, 7 grams of fat, and 2 grams of protein like the macros could obviously be better since it is like a processed snack but sometimes it's like but sometimes we want like a little crunchy something to like you know snack on so i actually recommend pre-portioning out your like like when you buy these just pre-portion them out into like little baggies i do that so that i don't overeat you know what i mean these but i actually really like them and i just want to share them with you guys this right here is one of the last items I got and when I tasted them I was like no way no way I love this this is the skinny cow um, next level vanilla caramel cones they're so good like they are so good the whole cone is like coated with chocolate you guys know like chocolate cones obsessed obsessed and it's 170 calories for a cone. Usually like the drumstick brand and all those, those are like 300, 400 calories for one cone. And every time I try to bring myself to buy it, I'm just like, no, like I'm not gonna spend all those calories on that. You know what I mean? Like, mm. so when I saw that Skinny Cow made these, I was like, oh bet, like I have to, I have to eat them. And this is like really good. Like the ice cream inside, in my opinion, is like dense, if that makes sense. Like it's just like a really filling, like after dinner snack. I love these and I highly, highly, highly recommend them. They are fire. <laughs> thought the ice cream was the last snack, but actually this is, I forgot all about these. Pitos, I've mentioned these on my channels before. I love, love, love these. They are fire and they're pretty macro friendly like the macros are not bad at all on these so i had to make sure to include these into my grocery haul because these are slept on this is um classic onion and i have a fiery onion and they're 120 calories per serving six grams of fat 11 grams of pro of protein no 11 grams of carbs and four grams of protein and if you were to eat the whole bag, it's 300 calories for the whole bag. So that's not bad. And the bag isn't like small, you know what I mean? Like it's a decent amount. Like I, I never eat the whole bag. Like these are like really good. Yeah, I just want to show you guys these real quick because I really like these. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I got. I know this was like a short video, but I literally just was putting my groceries away. And I'm like, you know what? Let me pick up my camera and show you guys what I got because... I just wanted to so yeah that's the end of my video let me know down below what are your favorite items to get at the grocery store if you're interested in the coffee make sure you press the link down below because it's fire you guys know i love my cold brew but um yeah that's the end of my video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys